for a better understanding of Steph Curry's injury. We welcome in Dr. Kevin Stone, an orthopedic surgeon at the Stone Clinic. He's on the phone. Dr. Stone, can you just first explain what a grade one sprain of the MCL is? Sure. So the MCL is that strong fibrous band on the side of your knee. And if you strain it, it's just like pulling the fibers a little bit apart rather than all the way apart. So if you grip your hand together and your fingers are over interlocking, if you pull them apart a little bit, that's a grade one. If you pull them apart halfway, that'd be a grade two. Pull them apart all the way, and that would be a grade three or a complete rupture of the, lig of the ligament itself. Now, given the way he fell in the game, I think we're all like fearful that it could be a torn ligament, MCL, ACL. Uh, is this the possible, uh, the best possible diagnosis, do you think? Yeah, I think so. Actually, given the way he fell, most of us in the field didn't think it would be a big injury. He really had the good fortune to mostly slip and have the foot go out to the side and the knee go in, and it really wasn't a very dramatic or traumatic injury. So the overwhelming likelihood was that it was a relatively minor injury to the MCL, and I think the team and, and everybody involved are being appropriately cautious to make sure that he heals well before he puts himself back at risk. So we needed you uh, in the newsroom yesterday to calm Greg Papa down. He was very upset <laughs> after the injury. Um, so GM Bob Myers, he said, we're taking an educated guess. We're rule ruling Curry out a minimum of two weeks. It's usually a two to three week timetable. What is the realistic timetable for his return in your experience? Well, there's the two to three weeks would be the normal timetable for normal people. Remember that those of us who take care of world-class athletes recognize that they're not normal people, that their brain-body dissociation, their ability to ignore an injury, their ability to heal fast and at least to feel like they're healed fast and to come back always exceeds everyone's expectations. So if you're a betting person, bet that he'll be back earlier than you think. Okay, that being said, though, we're talking about basketball. And with the way Curry plays the game, his position, and so much lateral involvement and movement needed, does he require maybe a little more recovery time just to make sure that that knee is going to be stable? So let me step back and say, listen, the combination of assessing an injury is both the physical exam, meaning how unstable is the knee, and the MRI, so showing how much tissue is actually torn. And those two things can be widely apart, meaning sometimes we can see a little bit of tear, but a really big instability of the knee, and that one takes longer to come back. And other times we see what looks like a much bigger tear, but the knee itself is not very unstable, and that athlete comes back so much faster. So it's the combination of the physical exam and the MRI that determine how quickly he'll be back. Okay, and, and Steph Curry also is still recovering from a right ankle injury. Does that complicate things even more when you, when you talk about the right leg and the strength that he needs to be completely healthy? It does, because the athletes are so good at compensating for an injury and playing around it and landing with a, almost a, a subconscious way called proprioception of being sure that they land stably. When you have both a knee and an ankle, it just makes it a little bit trickier to land and protect both joints. And so in the back of your mind, there's this feeling, hey, am I going to be okay when I land? And so the quicker he gets rid of that uncertainty, the quicker he builds the confidence that the knee is stable and the ankle is stable, the quicker he'll be back on the court. Now, there are a couple other things that help him return, both great physical therapy, which the team has. These days, we're using a lot of injections of growth factors and stem cells to stimulate healing. Uh, a good brace or taping can also make a grade one MCL feel much more stable and protected. All right. Well, thank you for providing some clarity and some encouraging news. Dr. Kevin Stone, we appreciate your insight. Anytime. Happy to help.